Hey Potions, so today I'm going to show you guys how I do my DIY coffee drip stand and it's a really cute idea and I hope you guys like it. So I got this small little crate and I think it's really cute. Um, originally I did not know what to use this for but I just got it because I thought it was really cute. And I decided that oh it would be a perfect for my coffee drip stand. So I removed two pieces. As you guys can see it just forms a space there. Actually this crate is the perfect size for my mug. So here's my Starbucks mug that I got from Walmart as well. And for the top piece, that's usually where we put our filter paper, our coffee bean that's grinded. And I got it from Blue Bottle. Um, my friend, best friend Su Lam, got it from my birthday present, so I was really happy. And here's the coffee filter paper. You guys can get this from your local um, supermarket. I got this from Walmart. And I really love the color. So I'm just going to pour in my grinded coffee bean. And when you guys are drinking drip coffee, you guys want your coffee bean to grind it in a more coarse than fine because it will just reveal more flavor. And then proceeding on to the next step, we are going to pour hot water around the edges of our um, cup and we want to wet our filter paper so that it's warmed up and then we are going to pour it just so that it doesn't overflow um, and then we are going to wait until it drips a bit and then we will pour a second round. I always find making coffee is a really therapeutic process where it really helps me to stress and I really love um, seeing um, my coffee drip and the hot air coming out of my cup. I think it's so pleasantly beautiful and uh, hashtag aesthetics. So once you have your luscious rich cup of drip coffee, as you guys can see, it's really dark and bold. We are going to add in our creamer or milk if you like. I'm adding my condensed milk because I think it goes really well with the flavor. It's very sweet and creamy and as you guys can see, it turns into a really beautiful, rich and light brown color. And another thing I like about condensed milk is that it has both milk and sugar. So it's like two in one process. Hey Potions, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy tutorial on how to make your DIY coffee drip stand. And if you guys are interested in making drip coffee, I hope you guys give this a try because it's so simple. And of course, drip coffee is a very basic and common coffee that a lot of people love. So give this a try. And if you guys haven't done so, definitely hit that subscribe button. I have posted a video on how to make the Chikorita Latte Art, so check that out as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!